Sorry for the volume, everyone. Hello, Seth right here with my first foray into Spider-Man, friend or foe. All right, let's make a new game. Here we go. Now we're recording, so. Here we go. There I was, sitting here thinking, what a peaceful, dull evening. And then, boom! The nut jobs show up. My old pals, Doc Ock and Green Goblin. Feels like a family reunion. If my family were comprised of... Lunatics! Venom, my friend, you need to get yourself some breath mints. Got any clever little quips for me, Webhead? Sandman? You're a walking pile of kitty litter. Making fun of you would be too easy. Spidey, hit your ride. Looks like you could use a hand. What I can use is a bazooka. Sorry, mine's in the shop, but how about this? Thanks for coming out, Jamie. That's just one part of our initiative. The rest is top secret. Your top secret and your headquarters is a giant flying aircraft carrier? You'd be surprised how rarely anybody looks up. You know, I'm happy to be alive and all, but how did I get here? Short-range teleporter pulled you out of the frig. Somebody wake the computer up. It's time to get to work. Yeah, wake the computer up. Hello, Bailey. Hello. Mission briefing software online. Welcome, Colonel Fury. Welcome, Spider-Man. Uh, hi? Should I talk to the computer? Only if you want to irritate me. I appreciate the attention. Computer, load up the meteor situation report. A while back, a meteor storm passed through our corner of the galaxy. Trajectory Alpha 7-3. Now, most of those space rocks went racing right on by Earth. But one crashed down. Tracking impact locale. Right in the middle of Manhattan. Impact location 40 degrees 47 minutes north, 73 degrees 58 minutes west. Two guesses what hitched a ride on that meteor. Venom. Venom, symbiotic life form of unknown alien origin. But that's not the worst part. It gets worse than venom. Worse is a relative word. Venom is only a rating 7 of 10 on a scale of terrible ways to die. See, that <laughs> meteor shower he was part of... As a means of comparison, some selections from level 8 include wasps with laser-guided... Computer, put a sock in it! As I was saying, that meteor shower Venom was part of... One of the meteors went into low Earth orbit and bounced across the atmosphere like a stone on water. But as it went, it broke apart into smaller shards. Meteor Shard Landing Sites Tokyo, Japan Tangaroa Island Cairo, Egypt Stokerstadt, Transylvania Annapurna, Nepal We've tracked the various pieces to their landing sites, but before we could move in to collect them, 
these nasty pieces of work started showing up. Perpetual holographic avatar, nanotech offensive monster, or phantom. You guys have a department just for acronyms, don't you? Phantoms aren't biological. They're a mix of solid light holographic technology and the symbiote substance found in the mediums. If somebody's making monsters that use the symbiote goo? That's just great. We're clearly dealing with someone of advanced technological means creating these things. And they obviously have their hands on one shard already. So we need to get to the other shards before they can. Which is why I need your help, Spider-Man. You've faced enough super-powered threats in your day. You're the perfect guy for this job. Oh, man. I have to say, I was really looking forward to maybe taking a few days off. We've got a saying around here. Saving the world is a full-time job. I get it. Great power, great responsibility. Okay, I'm in. Where do I start? Let me show you around. All right. These are the mission selection terminals. You'll use these to select and start your missions. This is the options terminal, where you can make adjustments to the game settings. This is the roster terminal, where you can select the character that will join you on missions. Up here is the rewards terminal. You can use this terminal to view rewards that you unlock during missions. Over here is the upgrade lab. This is where you can upgrade your web abilities and unlock powerful special attacks for your sidekicks. We're on our way to Tokyo right now. Why don't you take a moment to look around? Okay, so it's kind of hilarious if you think about it. Could you imagine Nick Fury take, bringing Spider-Man in and being like, oh yeah, hey guys, um, or hey, if uh, you go to this console, you can see the re rewards you get for your missions. Okay, so this actually features two-player, three-player, and four-player mode, but uh, unfortunately you can't, uh, you can't do it. All right, we can bring Silver Sable and Prowler. Let's bring Silver Sable for now. Silver Sable. Mega damage invincibility. Ooh. Use a devastating cooperative attack. Okay. Web lab. The web shooters create an extremely durable and elastic line of webbing. This line can be used for various attacks depending on the size of the enemy. Oh, and there's different different like versions of this we can get. Sable. The amount of damage that you take from enemies. We can actually get this. But uh, I think we're going to start with uh, the Beam Blaster. And use the same idea. Okay. And then this Spider Man we can you know, upgrade. We'll buy one upgrade for now, and that's Spider-Man's toughness. Alright, so... Yeah, this game apparently has co-op with you and a friend. I don't know if it has up to four friends, I, like I thought, but maybe? Let's go adjust the audio, though. We don't want to turn them too low because I, I don't want you guys uh, hearing um, the Xbox too much. Like, hopefully you guys don't hear it too much as is, but... Yeah. So, this is my first time playing Spider-Man Friend or Foe. Um, now, you might be asking, why didn't you play this on your Xbox One, which is much quieter than your Xbox 360? The answer to that question is... It figures the first game I pick for uh, playing on my Xbox is a 360 game that isn't compatible with the uh, backwards compatibility. As you can see, there's quite a few characters in this game. You can see the enemies and such locations. 
Spectacular Spider-Man. Credits. It's not really any rewards there, but... Alright, let's go check out a mission, shall we? Tokyo, Japan. Computer, show us what we've got on Japan. In 1603, the Tokugawa Shogunate instituted a long period of isolation. Computer, a bit more recent history, please. I have access to your off switch, computer. Of course you do. Impact point, 35 degrees, 41 minutes north. 139 degrees, 46 minutes east. Spider-Man, we tracked the first meteor, but it was retrieved and taken somewhere in Tokyo. Complicating matters are sightings of a couple of old friends of yours. Threat identity, Green Goblin. Green Goblin is equipped with an arsenal of razor bats and pumpkin bombs. Warning, approach with caution. Well, there's the understatement of the year. Threat identity, Doc Ock. Doc Ock is a genius of technological science. Warning, may be dangerous. No, wait, there's the understatement of the year. Warning, additional scans of local media, police vans, and screaming in streets indicates high concentration of phantom activity. Phantoms present have estimated symbiote index of 5% of maximum. Well, sounds like I should get down there. Hold up, there's one more bit of information. There's an operative in the area, cat burglar by trade, but she sports a heart of gold. Agent identity, black cat. Wielding a grappling hook as a weapon, she is a dangerous and agile combatant. She might be willing to lend a hand if you bump into her. So, to review, crazy hologram monsters, crazy bad guys, lost meteor shard, and incredibly attractive cat burglar. That's it in a nutshell. Good luck down there. Location, Tokyo. Alright, so there's four areas here in Tokyo that we can go to. Um, yeah. Let's experience this, shall we? You like the Xbox? You just, uh, you, you think PS uh, has always had the better controllers? That's fair. I, uh, I don't get much use out of my Xbox these days. Uh, all right. What's that? Tap the X button to strike enemies with punches and kicks. Tokens can be used to upgrade characters and web abilities in the upgrade lab. Okay. Tap the B button to grab enemies and objects. Tap the B button again to throw a held object. Okay, so B for grab. B for Bailey. Oh damn, they can land on you. That's pretty funny. So long, phantoms. Oh good, your 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 party members can pick up uh Use attacks to smash containers and find useful items inside. You can grab containers and throw them as ranged weapons. Power-ups are stored in your inventory. You can also buy them in the helicarrier. Press a direction to activate a power-up from your inventory. You slowly come around on Xbox controllers? The original Xbox controller was a nightmare. But each one since has gotten better and better. I don't think you can even play PC games without your Elite Series 2 anymore. You have PlayStation 4 and DualShock 4 continue to kick up more and for more dust. Yeah, I, I still get a lot more use out of my um, PS controllers, usually, because I still play my consoles. But, uh... I, I, I actually almost exclusively use my Xbox uh, uh, One controller for PC. Wait, do I get experience in this game? Is that a thing? Ambush! Ambush!
tap the B button and then hold another button like A or X to modify your grab. Will refill your health meter. Oh, good. That was great. Well, at least I can rely on her to not like just up and die. Yes, Xbox is still Microsoft. The way is clear. Yeah, I love my PS5 controller though. The moves list in the pause menu. The moves list in the pause menu. All right. X X X X X X. Or X X X X. Will fill your combo meter. Oh, higher levels give me more tech tokens. Okay. Oh, I like that move. See you have a Bailey cat on me? That's true. Bailey is here, she's very little, and she is very cute. She's been laying with me a lot lately, more so than usual. Super needy little cat. Whew. Is it hot in here or what? It certainly is, Spider-Man. It certainly is. These switches can be used to open up new areas. Ooh, scratch my head. I imagine you could fall off and die in this. I feel like that's probably a thing. So if you're playing with two players, the other person's gotta go stand on that. DNA helixes will unlock new content on the rewards terminal in the helicopter. Oh, sick. It's true, Stinky. Well, Stinky'd be stuck to you anyway, but. Guy, turn back to for a boss fight. Sick, we almost have enough for an upgrade. We're gonna wanna buy some web ability. Why does that have a drop off there? Whoa, no, don't do that. That was scary. Uh oh. This doesn't look good. We got a bigger, bigger ones now. Careful, Spidey. Those are full of explosives. They'd make a great weapon against the phantoms, but be quick. Oh, hang on, I just saw something. There we go. This is what my life has got. Fighting the hologram monsters. Simple to me. For now, fight. Okay, so I, to tell you guys here, the combat this feels really, really smooth. Very flashy as well. That was really good. A rough has appeared, you guys. You guys like birds. 
Roughly. Let us move forward. I get hit a lot because I'm trying to add uh, different things, but oh, she's got she's picking up her own. Interesting. That was really good. Hold the Y button to change control to the other character. Let's do this. Oh shit! She's almost dead. Okay, she takes more damage than I do. Level three. All right. Ambush. Shit. She plays though, at least not compared to Spidey. You guys are battling with technical difficulties. No one defeats technical difficulties, apparently. Man, this place is huge. This place is huge. Where are we anyway? Oh shit. I didn't know that would just start exploding immediately. I thought I could at least pick it up, but no. to go does it want me to go up here I don't trust jumping towards the camera okay I guess I shouldn't also not trust jumping up like that also Spidey stop web swinging that's what's getting me here I just wanted you to jump that's it just double jump Technical difficulty strikes again. Curse you! Curse you, fiend! I saw it to her so I can get some HP, basically. She's fine now, though. Uh oh. This doesn't Nah, it's fine. Omega Theory! If you time it right, you may be able to hit his light core. There's his light core. Attack now. Hello, Omega! There's his light core. Attack now. How's it going, Omega? How's life in the Omega side of things? Away from me. There's his light core. Attack now. Damn, Silver Sable. Stop getting hit by shit, you piece of shit. There's his light core. Attack now. Get wrecked. You don't need to yell at me every time I though. How's it going, Omega? 
He beat Astral Chain today. I haven't even touched Astral Chain yet, and I keep wanting to, but then I'm like, I don't own it, so then I don't want to buy it because it's a Nintendo game. And Nintendo games never go down in price, so... Maybe one day. One day. Okay, that works too. Yeah, I uh, I wish Nintendo games would go down in price. I had my sights set on the game a while back. This is my favorite move in the game so far. Awesome. Well, that's a thing that can happen. You got it for your birthday from Cyber Demon? Well, that's a nice gift. Well. Raiders, uh, I am Sasai. I'm Omega's brother in real life. I am currently playing a game called Spider-Man Friend or Foe. Now, I have never played this game before. Uh, so it is basically all new to me. Okay, if you even touch that thing, it just explodes. <laughs> you don't even need to pick it up. I mean, it, it goes crazy. Unlock doors to secret areas. You can use a keystone by standing near a door that bears the keystone symbol. Sure. All right, well, let's break all this shit. There's an unlockable right there, but I'm thinking I might have to give my life to get it. This feels like a gauntlet clone. I never played gauntlet. I think I know the game you're th talking about, but I'm not 100% certain. You think the game audio is delayed? Is anybody else having issues with that? Can anybody else confirm if there's an audio issue? Because on mine, it looks like when I punch, he does the animation and sound. Keystone activated. <laughs> Defeating all phantoms in a secret area will unlock the arena for oh, use phew. in versus mode. Okay, I'm sorry you had to go through that, but at the same time. But these are the same ones you've been fighting. back again. I see you have returned. New versus arena acquired. The all phantoms defeated this arena is now available for play in the versus mode terminal. All right. Well, back. Yeah, back there. Sorry you had to go through that. Thankfully, it was just you because audio issues pissed me off, especially desync issues. 
I went through that with my, uh, Elgato, and I never want to go through that again. It was, it was traumatizing. Right, Bailey? Look at her. Some kind of little cat over here. Gauntlet's a good series. It's a series of games? Was Gauntlet on the N64? I seem to remember Gauntlet 64 being a thing. I gave my life for the cause. And I got healed full for it. I'm gonna die again. Oh, that's it. I thought that was hell. She's holding it! I have like no HP left, guys. Let's go. They're an arcade game by Midway. Okay. Yeah, I I like I like I said, I recognize the name, but I don't uh Think I've ever played it, and I remember there being a 64 game. Okay, give me health. All the health. All right, you know well, that's good. That's some health. See, we'll come over here. We don't want to be over there. When that goes off, yeah, look at that HP. We did it. You think you're pretty sneaky, don't you? I was, um, yeah. No, oh boy. I'm looking for a crazy guy with big metal arms. Have you seen him? Yeah, he's inside this building. How bad do you want in? No, um, pretty bad. Then I want to go with. That could be arranged. Oh, look at that. We did it. We beat the level, you guys. Am I the best at this game? Probably. Four helixes, we get a bonus, hell yeah. Exit to Helicarrier. All right, let's reset our recording.